Hi guys, it's my pleasure to have uh, Sumit with me. Sumit, uh, as we all know, is one of the most wonderful person. He is a friend. He is a volunteer for ATGTR, and incidentally, we are grateful that he is also selected as one of our speakers once again this time. Um, as we all know, Sumit is one of the automation, AI, and ML expert as well. He comes with around for fifteen years of experience. Uh, but rather than me speaking about him. I think it would be great if Sumit, you can give a quick introduction about you. Well, well, I also know that a lot of people know you. You contribute a lot to the the community. But still, if you can add a little bit here, that would be really nice to us. And thanks a lot for joining this chit chat series for the speaker interview series. Yeah, first of all, thank you so much, Adi, and the entire ATA GTR team uh, for giving me an opportunity to uh, talk and share my experience around AML. uh coming back to my experience is almost as you rightly mentioned it's almost like 15 plus years of experience uh predominantly into automation and last couple of years uh into artificial intelligence and machine learning uh so i'm keen to you know work and uh, doing work with respect to test automation and how we can leverage ai ml in quality assurance and automation testing for better project delivery uh so that's in nutshell about me hadik very nice he's very humble guy guys Anyway, so he is bringing a very interesting topic to the conference. Uh, his topic is demystifying AI, which is artificial intelligence model evaluation. Okay, uh, I would say very technical and very interesting topic. No one should miss this session uh, with uh, what Sumit is bringing to the table. But Sumit, uh, don't give too many insights. Just can you give us little more on this uh, and why do you think people should attend this? Of course, yeah. See, Adi. I mean, uh, what I believe is it's very uh, critical aspect for any yeah. AML solution. Basically, again, lies into the evaluation or how basically you are testing or you know uh, checking overall performance of the machine learning models, right? Uh, but at the same time, I personally feel you know it is very important for QA community and anyone to know exactly the overall model building process, like how model builds, understanding the fundamentals of AML, right? because if you know the basics and the fundamentals are clear uh you will be better in terms of strategizing how to effectively evaluate any sort of ai ml right so basically in my this topic i am going to share all the insight uh one should know about you know how to use different approaches of evaluating machine learning and i will be more than happy to talk about also the areas for example you know how to evaluate supervised learning models unsupervised learning model today when we talk about gen ai i know how you can uh, do the strategies around it so yeah i'm really looking forward to share those insight uh, with the with the community oh, that is wonderful and i'm sure that people who uh, get a chance to hear him out and interact with him on 8th of december pune would be really enthralled by what he brings to the table guys so uh, i told him that the conversation will be short so i will only ask one more question sumit if you allow yeah. right definitely yes sir yeah so see other than work other than the ai ml and technology stuff that you have been doing for so many years what is your passion what keeps you going well i think cricket uh, i think i mentioned this i think you know not yes. the interview i remember uh sport i mean it's not only cricket adi but i think sport is one of the thing yeah. uh which definitely one should look as an aspect and there is so much learning when we yeah. talk about any sport uh now particularly i like cricket a, mo- a lot and i try to see how the team formation strategies mm-hmm. uh, how to bounce back and things like that so yeah one of the another side of me is cricket i really try to find out the time <laughs> uh, to go on ground still play cricket uh but yeah i think one of the passion is cricket and learning a lot of things from cricket which really helps me in my day to day job team building motivations and encouraging the team member very well, nice in fact last time also we discussed on that how sumit uh, not only on the technology side but on the leadership circle has been utilizing cricket and games for his success right at the same time mm-hmm. i remember that he still plays a lot on the weekends right you do play yes, yes. Uh, i, I try to find out the time uh, it's not happening regularly nowadays because uh, again uh, there is a busy schedule but yeah definitely i try to find out sometime if not i definitely keep a track of cricket and post cricket commentaries and very nice. updates like that so if you are in pune and if you want to play cricket or if you want to learn more from him i would recommend that you should come and meet him on 8th of december so 
uh, again big thanks to you Sumit that first of all we are doing this late night and it is raining here today in Pune and still you could find time uh, our gratitude and many thanks that you could uh, come for this small chit chat and uh, many thanks for being our speaker once again thank you so much thank you so much Adi and thank you so much Adi looking yeah. forward to really what is our conference yeah